So you know that Jay-Z song, and I forgot what it's called, but in the beginning he's like, this is not a feel song, this is a real song. Well, this is how I feel about this vlog. This is not a brag vlog, this is a real vlog. At the start of the year, we all lay down two, three, four, maybe even five goals that we wanted to accomplish for the year. And now that there's 140 days left in 2021, can you believe it? Only 140 days left in this year. Where are you with your goals? Have you hit them? Have you accomplished them? Do you need to reevaluate? And this is kind of what this vlog is about because I want to be real and open with you guys, my viewers, about my journey as a real estate agent and where I am as far as the goals that I set for 2021. And I hope that you can find some motivation for the rest of the year and going into 2022. All right, so before we jump into all that epic life stuff, um, quick life update. So my wife and I had our wedding reception back in July and our honeymoon as well, which were two goals we set for ourselves for the year that we wanted to take advantage of everyone getting vaccinated, et cetera, that they would feel comfortable coming and celebrating with us. And we got to do that. Actually, take a quick trip to paradise. It was awesome. That was our first time in Mexico in Playa de Carmen. We did zip lining, driving through caves, um, rolling out water slides. It was fun. It was hype. But now I'm back in New York and there's 140 days left in the year. What did I accomplish? Where I'm going to go for the rest of the year? And what is 2022 going to look like for Daryl Williams? So I set out to accomplish a few goals at the start of 2021 make $150,000 in commission after the split with the house. Two, get and sell five listings. Three, 24 transactions. And four, leave the team that I was on to branch out as a single agent and build my brand as a real estate agent in New York City. So where am I with those goals as of August 13th, 2021? Um, I left the team that I was on in June. The goal was to leave in July but it, only, it came to a point that it made sense for me to leave the team. There was no longer a necessity for me to be on there. So I branched out as a single agent um, two months ago, which I'm very happy. It's been great since then. Obviously, there's still a few deals that I'm working on with my prior team lead that we're gonna close out, but your boy is a free agent, so to speak. <laughs> Next, salary goal for the year. I know it's kind of daunting to be like, at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna make this much money because at the end of the day, you can only control how much you work and the effort and the hustle that you put in, but sometimes deals don't always go in. And I've lost deals at the beginning of the year. Some deals didn't go through, but I am happy to say that by July, between what's closed and what's in contract, I've hit my goal of $150,000 in commission after the split with the house. So if I did no more deals for the rest of the year, I would essentially be fine because I hit my salary goal, but that's not my mindset. Because with the deals that I have that are accepted offers and that just went in contract this week, I've exceeded that 150,000 and I'm probably gonna do over 200,000 in gross commission in my third year as a real estate agent. And that's not to brag, that's just say when you write something down and you put it on the board and you look at it every single day, that you can accomplish that goal and you put in that work to accomplish it. So that's where I'm at, I'm very happy with that because I wasn't sure, I was nervous of setting that. I even lowered it at one point, but I was like, no, aim high, aim for the sky. And if I land on the clouds, I can still be happy with that. So I've hit that goal and then I've exceeded it. So the third goal that I set at the start of 2021 for my business this year was to get five listings and to sell those five listings. To date, I've gotten three and I've sold three out of three listings that I've gotten in 2021. The last one was in bed -Stuy, which sold within 30 days at full ass. My seller is very happy, I'm very happy, and I'm out shopping for their new dream home, which is awesome, which is gonna be over a million dollars because, I don't know, I'm excited. They wanna buy their forever home. So now I need to go out and find two more listings because I set a goal of five for myself. Um, so far, those three listings came from people that owned their apartments and wanted to upgrade but needed to sell their current place. I do have prospects of a few buyers who currently own their place as well, and those could be where the other two listings come from. For me, hit a goal of five, but if not, I'm gonna go out and hunt and find sellers that are looking to sell their next apartment and buy their next apartment. So three out of five, more than 50% there on that goal. Now, goal number four was 24 transactions for 2021. Between what's closed, in contract, and accepted offers, I'm at that goal of 24 deals. And it probably would have been less because I almost lost a townhouse deal in Brooklyn this morning, but then we got it and saved it. So I'm happy about that. 
So I've hit that goal and everything else now is extra. And like I said in the beginning of the video, meeting the goal is always the minimum criteria. Exceeding the goal is always the actual goal. So what are some of the goals you set for yourself in 2021? Did you accomplish them? Do you need to pause or reevaluate now that we're in August and trying to see what can you do to meet those goals in the next 140 days? Or maybe put those goals off until 2022, which is nothing wrong with that. You just have to be real with yourself. And listen, I could next week jump on here and be like, three of most deals that I just mentioned I lost, and so now I'm not hitting my goal, which means now I have to go work harder and get those deals back plus some because that's how I think. If I lose a deal, I need to get that deal back plus another one. So that's, that's 2021 for me. I've hit most of my goals. I'm happy with the trajectory of my career and there's just bigger things coming in the future. Um, listen, I hope you can find this inspiring. I'm in my going in. I've been in real estate for about two years and some change. So technically I'm in my third year. Um, February, 2022 would be three years exactly. And two years, they suck. I made $8,000 my first year in real estate. My second year, which was 2020, I made $23,000. And before 2020 is end, I'm making six figures. And that's persistence, that is consistency, and that is hard work. And it pays off to write your goals down, look at it every day, and go out and pound that pavement and hit those goals. So 140 days left in the year. You're the CEO of your time bank. You can do this. Let's accomplish those goals and let's circle back in 2022 and see where we are. Blog out.